declarations and denials over what killed Benazir Bhutto. New video images show Bhutto leaving a rally in Rawalpindi. She's standing upright through the open sunroof of her armored car. And a gun is seen in the hand of someone who's clambered aboard on the left rear bumper. That handgun is highlighted in a circle on the right center of the screen. No one denies there were several shots and an explosion. But the government now insists she died when she hit her head on a lever on the car's sunroof. So this is the lever which is open, which is blood stained. You know. So there is every possibility that this is the lever, unfortunately, which caused you know, the, the fracture in her skull and uh, became the cause of her main death. Despite what doctors said just the day before, Pakistani officials insist x-rays prove Bhutto was not killed by either bullets or shrapnel from a bomb. There was no foreign element in her body. So henceforth, there should be no ambiguity that, uh, you know, she died because of the bullet uh, hit or she died because of a pallet or because of a splinter. But a senior member of Bhutto's Pakistan People's Party is branding the government account a pack of lies, charging there was not only the gunman on the car and the suicide bomb, but a sniper on a nearby building. They have changed their stance, they have changed their point of view today. Now they have come up with a different stance. As the cause of death is debated, Pakistani officials say there is hard evidence who was behind Bhutto's murder. We have intelligence intercepts indicating that Al-Qaeda leader Baitullah Mahsud is behind her assassination. We just have an intelligence intercept that was recorded this morning in which Baitullah Mahsud has congratulated his people. A transcript released by Pakistani authorities shows this exchange. Baitullah Mahsud says it was a tremendous effort. They were really brave boys who killed her. Another militant replies, Thank God. When I come, I will give you all the details. U.S. officials say they also believe Batula Massoud, a Taliban leader, is likely behind Bhutto's murder. Amid the controversy and contradictions, the government spokesman said if Benazir Bhutto hadn't stood up in the sunroof of her armored car, she would have survived. I wish she had not come out of the rooftop of her vehicle. Perhaps she could have been saved. The real story told by the videos and photos is that Benazir Bhutto had no serious security around her motorcade. Eyewitnesses told CNN anyone could and did easily approach in the moments before her assassination. There were no armed police visible. There were no private security guards provided by her own political party either. Benazir Bhutto was a known target. The lack of security made her an easy target. Jim Clancy, CNN.